So let's just talk about, um, you know, first let's talk about Will Will Spratt. You know, gave you three three solid ins, kind of set the tone, didn't he? He most certainly did. Will's going to throw. Uh, Will's, I mean, Will's going to throw a lot of strikes. I mean, Arnold hit him around pretty good, but it wasn't because, you know, they were just ready to play and maybe they caught us a little off guard. But Will's going to throw a lot of strikes and he's going to keep us keep us in games. You know, and um, your first two batters, uh, Bryce and, and Pace, and walked, and then uh, Caden started his day, um, you know, with a hit there, and then he got two more big hits um, later, two triples. Um, just how important, you know, him and Will in the middle of that lineup, cut such keys, huh? Um, they started off slow, and they were really hard on themselves because they play the most baseball out of the whole bunch. So when they aren't hitting the ball, they sometimes they get down on themselves. Caden went 0 for 4 against Central, and Hayden Stroud on Friday. And he was a little down in the dumps, and I said, if we can win a game and you go 0 for 4, we're in pretty good shape. And today he was ready to play, and you know, he hit the ball on the screws a few times. Yeah, you got, you know, two big wins in a row. You beat Central and you beat these guys. Um, both should give you a heel points at the end of the day. Um, what's going maybe different right now than it was the first few games? Weather for one. <laughs> Weather's getting better and just getting more reps and more playing games. There's no substitute for playing, and when kids put the pick the glove up in March and set it down in June and don't play for the other nine months, it's tough to play this game. Yeah. So when they do that, good things happen. I think more reps and you know maybe the confidence is coming a little bit. Yeah, and um, you know you looked at these guys. You know you, you opened up the season with them. You know got, got a loss. You kind of you know looking at it, putting Will on the mound. You, you know hoping to get those heel points coming in, huh? Well, absolutely. Make no mistake. There's some good baseball players on that team, mm -hmm. and you know Coach Gar always has them ready to play, and they do a lot of good things. They're in a tough week. They've got four games this week, so that's tough. That's tough. But there's a there's a lot of good uh, players on that team, and they're four and one for a reason. You know, and I mean, people can say schedules and all this, but those kids come to compete every day. And today it was just our day. How important was it, um, you know, save the rest of your pitching staff by Caleb coming in and getting you out of here in five innings and, well, and, and doing that? One hundred percent. Caleb's a freshman, mm -hmm. and we've been working with him and working with him and working with him. But you know, we haven't had a chance to get him in a position where he was going to be successful more times than he was going to fail because they, every baseball player is going to fail but you want to see them succeed more than they fail and today was a good situation to get him in there when there wasn't a lot of pressure on him and that doesn't surprise me him throwing strikes um, and I'm just glad he competed. Yeah. What, what can um, Last question uh, go, going forward what, what can you do to build on these last two games? We've just still got to play better defense I mean at times we just get a little lackadaisical and at times we think that we've got enough runs and teams are too good. We go to Lincoln on uh, Wednesday and Coach Libby always has them playing. And anytime you've got a, a team led by Isaac Hayner, I mean, you better be ready to play. If not, you're gonna be behind quick. So we've still got to play with confidence and we got to have our uh, upperclassmen lead because only, we're only gonna go as far as they take us. So. Thank you.